<clears throat> Good morning, folks. Kevin here at Tattoo Toy Owner. I'm in my new house. Decided to do a quick live. What's up, Tim? How you doing, buddy? I'm in my new home and I decided to do a quick live video. I got some of these uh, garbage pill kids I love so much. These are We Hate the 90s themed. So it's gonna be like talking smack about the 90s all the way through. <laughs> I really like these cards too. They've been a great uh, series. I've opened a few. What's up, Christopher? How you doing, buddy? Mario. Good, sir. Out of work and I'm off today and tomorrow. I'm so happy to be free. I needed a break. <clears throat> so yeah yeah it's too echoey right it is empty it's huge and there's nothing in here I'm literally sitting on like a outside chair inside thank you sir it's yeah it's the lighting's way better my old house was junk it was like rough and uh, dark so I never liked doing lives there but this one's lit up and nice how's everybody doing this morning Good, awesome. I probably have some toys I should have probably went and picked up some packages, but I didn't. They still go to the old house address. Doing fine. Thank you, yeah, I got a lot of space. I'm gonna be within the next month. Hey, what's up, Bob? How you doing, buddy? In the next month or so, I'm gonna be doing a, putting together a massive toy room and I'll do a video just of all my stuff. Jamel, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Echo, 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 echo. And I'm trying to do some, uh, get some merch out eventually. Once we get settled here, I'm gonna start getting some stuff out as far as like clothing and trying to get back in the game a little. <clears throat> Anybody have any great hauls this week of cool stuff? Appreciate that, Christopher. Tim's got an awesome channel. He's over there in Europe, uh, and he finds these amazing flea markets. He finds all kinds of stuff. Actually, me, you, Christopher, and Tim, we kind of like all the same stuff. So this is a little mystery box I picked up from Target for 10 bucks, and it's a uh, Garbage Pail Kids We Hate the 90s, and it comes with uh, a bunch of stuff like stickers and some toys and different stuff. Yeah, I love, I got, I got some friends also from Australia and I love seeing the stuff they get over there that we don't necessarily get in the States. So yeah, over there in Belgium and Germany, Tim finds some amazing rare stuff that doesn't circulate in America or Texas. So it's awesome to see. What's up, Tiffany? Good morning. Ah, uh, rummage sale, you're so lucky. Good luck, I hope you find something good. On the weekends, man, church rummage sales are places to hit. And I'm talking like 25 cents. Well, you probably know it's 50 cents, 75 cents stuff. It's amazing. I wish you good luck and I'm jealous at the same time. I think tomorrow I may go do some garage sales again as well. Aww, like nothing in here hardly. So we got one, two, three, four, five packs. And we got like a, I don't know what this is. I guess this is like a featured sticker card. It's a Feral Arrow. Anybody remember these from the 80s? Like, I love these in the 80s and I still love them. And I still collect 80s. Like I still order these and I buy them from online auctions. I order them from eBay. I find them every now and then in thrift stores. But these are cool because they're called, we love, we hate the 90s and uh, the cool thing about it is the fact that it's all 90s related, so it's fun to remember the 90s stuff when you look at the pictures. Oh, a big Boy Scout sale. So the proceeds, the money goes to the, help the Boy Scouts. That's awesome. I remember the original ones. Yeah, the original 80s, I think the first wave was like 85, I want to say. That was Series 1, and they just got, they were so good. I still want to get like an atom bomb from the first series. 
but I've got a ton of those. I need to buy like a, a big folder to put them in. So let's see here. <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing a, a live stream ne the, probably next weekend because I have a few things I'm giving away. So check check out my last few videos where I'm gonna be giving away toys and comic books. And I'll also be doing another give I'll do another giveaway video this week and all of it will be uh, given out on Saturday, I think, that I was talking about. And it's gonna be basically for my uh, two year anniversary and my 3000 sub is what I'm going for. So look how cool these cards are. They, they have different topics like this one here says 90s music and celebrity sticker. So it's either 90s music or celebrity. And this one, of course, you probably all recognize him. He was one of my favorite 90s defensive power forwards. Or was he a small forward? I think it was power forward. But he was the rebound king. Good morning, Judson. What's up, brother? That's right, Dennis Rodman. Thank you so much, uh, Christopher. It's been a long, fun <laughs> run to get here. <laughs> it's funny that he has underarm hair. He's got the colors, too. That's what I like about these, uh, we hate the 90s. Next one is 90s fads. So what was the fads? Lunch, ape, yeah, the Dennis Rodman, the worm, you're right. He got to play in, uh, uh, briefly with uh, the Bulls. I know him best for Detroit. He got around a little bit, he played with LA. And then he ultimately, they had to get rid of him because he didn't want to go to workouts. He just wanted to do what he wanted to do. But 90s were, the launch of Lunchables. So this is Lunch Able. So that was like 90s fad. <laughs> Next one is gonna be 90s fashion. So this one is Scrunched Scarlet. Do y'all remember the girls always wearing these scrunchies in the 90s? I remember that. That's pretty funny. Next up is 90s fashion again. And it is, I have to get these cards. They're awesome. This one's 90s fashion, it's backward. But I don't know, you remember Criss Cross, when they did all the backwards clothes, it kind of launched a, a short-lived uh, fashion. Fashion, you'd see the kids wanting to wear their stuff backwards because of Criss Cross. Make you jump, jump, the Mac Denim. It was very sad, they tried to launch a, a comeback and one of them overdosed of heroin and died, so. It was pretty sad. Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, fads again. And this one is... It's the same one as the other one, but they renamed it. It's prepackaged mail, but it's a Lunchable. They did that on the originals, too. They always had two with two different names. All right. 90s cartoons and comic books. Y'all are gonna remember this one. I'm gonna show it to you and let you say who it is. Do y'all remember this cartoon? It was one of my favorites. Ran and Stimpy, yes sir. Powdered Toast Man. I love this cartoon, it was ridiculous, but so good. All right, and this is gonna be fashion again. This was big in the 90s. And this guy's name is Ripped Upton. Ripped Upton. But yeah, the grunge. Remember a lot of crazy white boys walking around all grungy in the 90s? <laughs> and last part of that pack is 90s fashion again. And it's Dungarees. You know what, I don't remember Nirvana style, you're right. I don't remember people wearing these trousers when I was in, in the 90s. I don't remember that too much. It's clean. <laughs> Come on, you either wanted to have your clothes backwards or be grungy. All right. I wanna see how many, I'm sure like they're usually I think 50 cards to every series. I would like to complete this series. Okay, so first one is 90s cartoons and comics. 
I recognize it. Let's see if you recognize this, where this came from. The, the trousers were popular. I don't remember them. I guess I just don't remember, period. Space goes. <laughs> okay, 90s politics and news. 90s politics. Blastin' Bill. He was really popular in the 90s. He had some scandals, but he was very popular. Billy Boy Clinton. 90s toys. Okay, guys, this is where y'all better be good because this is version of space. Oh, yeah, the glow in the dark. Space Ghost, yeah, it glows. The Mezco 112. I want that one too. <laughs> okay, 90s toys. He got that Monica head and had a cigar to finish off. <laughs> and this guy's name is Monty in my pocket instead of Munster in my pocket. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, 90s toys again. This is going to be a hard one. The name kind of gives it away, though. This one's name is Benny Baby. <laughs> Anybody collect these guys? Yes, sir. <laughs> Beanie Babies. They're pretty. I'm sure there's some that are very collectible. I don't. I don't collect them either. Okay, '90s cartoons and comics again. His name is MTV. I recognize the that character from the cartoon and the comic books. What's up, Lindsay? How you doing, ma'am? Buenos dias. Como te sientes? Good morning. The Max. Man, I still want the Max, the toy that McFarlane came out. That's great to hear. Yes, ma'am. I want that Max toy eventually, but he's gone up in price. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, 90s TV. Let's see if you recognize this guy. He's easily recognizable from the 90s. Yes, it was. Steve! Steve Urkel! Yes, sir. I used to watch that show quite a bit. All right, this one looks crazy. 90s toys. 90s toys. Who are they making fun of? What's up, Jeff? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Trolls! Yes, sir. You know what? I still collect 80s and uh, maybe early 90s trolls. They have, they have some some that are have the He-Man body, the Troll Warriors. I got a bunch of those. They're ridiculous. All right, 90s toys again. So I need my toy people. Get ready. Battle Trolls, yes. I got a ton of those Battle Trolls. Some camo, some like robot. Furby! Furby looks evil though. Look, he ate the finger. <laughs> Alright, that's that package. We'll go through these fairly quick. Rudy Farias, what's up brother? How you doing? 90s TV. Now, huge... Uh, Huge horror fan, especially in the 90s, but this one was scary to me, this TV series. Was scarier than some of the, like, Freddy Krueger's. Anybody recognize these fun guys? Teletubbies. They never talked, it was so weird. All right, this is just the throw, we did where we saw this one, 90s TV. Blah, blah, blah. What's up, Rudy? Are you working? Rudy's a good personal friend of mine. He lives over here. Urkel! Did I do that? Urkel looks like a... What's his name? Jaleel White is his name? He looks like a pimp now, man. He grew up. 90s TV. So this is a 90s TV show we all watched. 
Uh, these are I, these. This package is exclusive to Target, and it's called We Hate the '90s. It's brand new. It just came out. What's up, nerdy family? What's up, brother? How you doing? Or fam, whoever is donning the mantle of that nerdy family today. X Files, yeah. X Files was dope in the '90s. Mulder and Scully. All right, '90s films. <clears throat> this movie that on this card was I, I enjoyed. A lot. I hate to admit it, but oh, you didn't hear me. I'm sorry. These are all uh, Target exclusives. These are from Target. You know, like most Targets, you walk in, it's not in the toy section, but it's in the front. It's in the front, close to the uh, checkouts where they have all the cards. That's where I got these. They sell them in individual packages for five bucks, or you can get this ten dollar package and get like five packages. So it's the better deal. Okay, 90s films. Who remembers this one? This was fun to watch. It was a good movie. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks starred in this 90s flick. And the name kind of already gives it up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Sleep, yes, sir. Lindsay got it, Tim. I liked all his cheesy 90s movies. Yeah. They're right there. They're like they're right next to a ton of like Pokemon cards and wrestlers and we've already seen this in nineties fashion. Do you remember all the girls wearing scrungies? Oh, you never saw Sleepless in Seattle? I thought it was a good movie. I bet you'd like it, Christopher. It's pretty good. Y'all remember all the girls in in school and wearing these scrungies? They were like a big deal, I guess, in the nineties when it started. Gotta love the 90s. <laughs> Scrunchies. Okay, this one looks good. This is 90s TV shows. You can tell who they're making fun of by the sign. Vanderbeek's Creek. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Pogs. Oh, Pogs. Nice. Dawson's Creek. Yes, sir. Okay, 90s films. This one you're going to recognize right away. <laughs> In the backseat. <laughs> Judson. <laughs> Oops, someone left this behind. In the backseat of my Ford Crown Vic. <laughs> Plenty of space. Okay, how about this movie? Let's see. Let's cover up this stuff. Anybody remember these guys? Is it? I think I think this is uh, Men in Black, no? Men in Black. Yeah, it's Men in Black. It does look like... Uh, does look like the Blues Brothers, though, because they dress the same way. But they wore the hats. You had a Cutlass? Oh, yeah! And a Cutlass Supreme. <laughs> okay, this is a... Easily recognizable, recognizable Tim Burton 90s movie. Anybody recognize that handsome fella? Johnny Depp played him. You got it, sir. Edward Ed, Eduardo. Eddie, cousin Eddie. Two more patches. We'll roll through these quick. All right. Hey, yeah, you're right. Great movie. He did, man. I was into all his movies back then. 90s music and celebrities. So you are going to recognize this guy quickly. Any 90s grunge fans? He had such a sweet wife. You got it. Curdy boy. Yeah, Nirvana. Mr. Cobain, rip, what a talent to lose. 90s films. This one's gonna be easy for you 90s film people. Anybody recognize the high school cheerleader girl killing a vampire? You got it, Rudy. 
Buffy. I never, like, I watched some episodes of Buffy, but I never really got into it. And that's because I didn't think it was bad for a 90s series, but I never watched her. Mmm, Buffy. <laughs> 90s toys. Here you go. Y'all better be ready. 90s toys. I don't recognize it myself. How sad. <laughs> 90s toys. Didn't like it. I guess I didn't like it either because I just wasn't hooked on it. I watched like stuff like Wonder Years. I remember that. I don't know what. Uh, maybe Wonder Years was that late '80s. I don't recognize these toys. What's up, God Tech? How you doing, brother? Those ball thingies. I think so. This guy's name is Hair Bill. Hair Bill. But I think you're right. Is this '90 and '80? Got you, Ian. Thank you. Is this uh, those little baseball wow, mad balls? I forget what they're called. They're not the mad balls. We'll have to look those up because I'm not sure either. Was there something that was like fur balls? No, not on them. I don't know. We'll leave this to the side and figure it out. Plastic ball things you get out of the 50 cents. Is that what it is? Like they're slimy or they're squeezy? They had like sp spaghetti here. Oh, yeah, Garbage Pail Kids were so amazing. Too early. <laughs> okay, we're gonna redeem ourselves here. 90s toys. Yeah, fur balls. I don't remember them. Let's see if y'all recognize this 90s toy line. Well, I'll just give you the name because I don't know. Creepy Carl. Was it like a little bugs, bunch of bugs toys? Creepy Carl. Pog. Pog! Some of these are not stuff I was super into, but. All right, let's see if we can get a good one. 90s politics and news. So these are some political people. This guy's name is Disgeorge. And he's at a sushi bar. Yeah, that one's got us all. <laughs> we'll, we'll just move past it so we don't have to think too hard. I'm already, my brain already hurts. <laughs> Anybody recognize this guy? He's some kind of politician. Oh, it's Bush. It's George Bush. He's got Bush on the jacket, and his name is Dis George. Poor George W. George W. Yep, Sky at 22, you got it. <laughs> okay, we, this is a repeat. We've already done this one. Bush is out. There's no more Bush in the 2000s. <laughs> on the Japanese dude? Okay. <laughs> is that before he got hit with a shoe? Oh, you did? I don't, I don't remember it anymore. We already saw this one. He passed out, wow. I bet that was crazy. Wow, that, that had to have made news. That's what I like about these. I, I don't remember that, but that is cool that it became a trivia question on these cards. So we already saw this one. All right. 90s politics and news again. And this is cloned Chloe. Clone Chloe. Were we big into fighting cloning stuff in the 90s? Were we cloning sheep? <laughs> this is 8B of 9. Anybody remember controversy over cloning? I do kind of remember it being a, a topic every now and then, but nothing major. Last one of the card, 90s politics and news again, lovely. This is a spelling bee, and his name is Mr. Potato Ed. Yeah, they cloned a sheep, okay. And it was like a big deal, they're like saying don't play God. So he's got a sign that says potato, potato, he keeps misspelling it. Mr. Potato Ed, it was just two sheeps. This guy's name is 
Quail. Okay, it's Dan Quail. Uh, wasn't Dan Quail always misspelling stuff or saying things incorrectly? And they'd make fun of him. That's not nice. That's not nice. Right, they just do it now. They said, you know, it's better not to tell the public. That way they don't, we don't get any flashback from it. Last pack. We hate the 90s. All right. They never cloned anything and they never went to outer space, right? <laughs> Based on cloning and I, you're right. I did not, Arnold Schwarzenegger did a cloning movie and then there was one called Replicas maybe. Okay, 90s fashion. How about the butterfly clip? Do y'all remember the girls? Now KFC clones chickens with no beaks. It's easier, yeah. You don't wanna have to cut the beak off. You wanna eat that sucker without the beak. Do y'all remember girls in school wearing these butterfly clips in the 90s, multicolored? I remember that. They would have like 30 different ones all over the place. Oh, that's cool, special on the moon landing. Pet Pepperidge Farm remembers. He says it all creepy though. The guy, the actor, Pepperidge Farm remembers. You remember what you did last summer? Pepperidge Farm remembers. 90s fads. Do y'all remember this? This was a big deal in the 90s on the internet. Yeah, Family Guy's the best. <laughs> This was a big thing on the 90s and then the government tried to get in and shut them down and yes sir, Napster. I never used Napster, never. I was always the guy doing all the illegal stuff with Bear Share, Limeware, whatever those other ones were. Did y'all remember uh, Bear Share, I think? Lime, something Lime, Limeware, where we get all our bad movies. Look at the left eye, Limeware, you get those movies. Metallica, yeah, you don't mess with Metallica. Free viruses. You didn't pay anything for those viruses. You got them free, and they destroyed your stuff. <laughs> that was the best. I I, I did until uh, until uh, AT and T put a thread on me, and I said, okay, I'm done. I retire. STDs for the PC. Get your PC viruses on. Nineties films. I I think I remember this movie. Y'all remember that movie? Is Limeware still up? Wow. I used to be a Torrent Pirate Bay guy. Torrent Pirate Bay. Limewire. Fight Club, yes sir. Because his name is Fight Bub. He's got the bar of soap. Hello. You wanna be live in living color? Let's see how strong your 90s are. They only see you here. Let's see, do you recognize this? 90s fashion, again, backwards clothes. Do you remember them doing that? Wearing the clothes backwards? You're too young. Are those Cabbage Patch Kids? Garbage Pill, Garbage Pill Kids. They kind of make fun of Cabbage Patch Kids. Mm. Criss Cross will make you jump, jump. No one remembers them anymore. 90s fads. Let's see if y'all remember this tape. Do y'all remember that roll of tape you could buy? Hey, you're, they want you to say hello, Layla. What's up, Hyru? How you doing, buddy? Y'all remember that big roll of tape? Say hi. Did you get a hand? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, this is, the, this is the daughter. Ta Mrs. Tattoo's working. I get the kids because they're out of school. Yeah, the, those big old gum tapes, they were so cool. Hello, hand. They all say hello, hand. Hello, hand. You look like Erica Badu with that head wrap. <laughs> yeah, I used to love these tape rolls. This was a big deal. Like, I remember people having these. Yeah, the tape gum is still around. Bubble tape. All right, this was fun. Let's see if y'all remember this. 90s toys. Let's see if y'all remember these things. Six foot tape, six foot tape, 
da 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 six foot tape. Do I ever sleep? Hey, what's up, Brennan? Uh, I sleep very little. I sleep at work. I sleep some at, uh, some here when I can. I work two jobs. Six by the foot. Tamagotchi. This is Tamagotchi. His name, Digital Dan, yeah. Y'all remember they used to have the little pets on that keychain where you'd feed the pet or it'd die? You had to feed it, change it, clean it. I, I think I may have had one, but I didn't. Fart machine. <laughs> you still have it? I didn't, I didn't really get into it, but I remember having it. What time is... Uh, what time is it right now? It is 10.23 a.m. Crap itself to death. Hyru, you better have been feeding these things. <laughs> okay, 90s toys. This is something you took outside in the summer. Do y'all remember these in the summer? Wow, it's already 5.23 p.m., Tim. You're almost going to have to go night night for the next day. Slip and slides. Oh, wow. That's a cool con. Do you go every year? Is it something that's every year? Dang it. Slip and slides are 80s, these jerks. Trying to steal our 80s mojo. You jump on it dry and it rips off a layer of skin and it burns you. Every year for the last five. Oh, nice. I hope you wish you luck picking up some cool stuff. Yeah, we, I remember us having a slip and slide. It was known as dope. All right, this is the last card for the, the whole box. And then I have these little extras they give. But this is 90s TV. Let's see if you recognize that. Look at the dog. I think the dog is the biggest hint. Da 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 Blues Clues, Blues Clues. Didn't they try to do a spinoff where it's like Blue's cousin or or maybe that dude's, dude's cousin with Blue? I have a clue. Pee-wee! <laughs> All right, I want to see what they gave me. Rock in the grass. All right, what did, okay, these are... I don't know what these are. They're just regular cards. So this is, these are called Bathroom Buddies. This is Fair Arrow, and he's smelling pee. This sticker features a previously unpublished painting from Lost Series of Bathroom Buddies in the 90s. This was a spinoff. I don't know what that is, but I guess this is a lost chingarera. We got a letter, we got a letter. Wonder who it is. <laughs> Blue's Clues is coming back. Is it really? This is uh, Showered Howard. Another Bathroom Buddies lost painting or something. That looks wicked. And we got Wet Willy. He's like getting peed on. I guess that's artwork they did for the cards that didn't get used. Yeah, Brennan, uh, we, that, uh, anybody see the new Rambo trailer for the final Last Blood? This ends the, ends the whole saga. This is going to end his series of Rambo, and it's called Last Blood. Remember the first one was called First Blood? Now, he's ending it on five, and it just released. Actually, me and uh, Harry Sandman PR Vlogs, we did a review of it, and I'm going to try to release it today, our little reaction review of that uh, trailer. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I think it's going to be good. I think it's good that he gets to finish off that thing. I mean, they ran that series so long, that saga of Rambo's was just on and off for, for a long time. So I'm glad he gets to end it on his terms. And then I think he's going to do a Rocky finisher too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's going to stop. Yeah, Rocky... He's he's in his he's set in his seventies now. I think he's seventy three. So this is he's gonna start ending stuff. 
because he can't keep doing action movies into his 80s. And granted, he looks even better than Arnold Schwarzenegger does. He looks rough, and he's about the same age. <laughs> he's going to return from the dead. I'm immortal. Here we are. He's going to be the new Highlander. He chopped the head off and got some life back. <clears throat> Rambo's a player and a pimp. <laughs> We're defenders of the universe. Do y'all remember the original Highlanders? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, that was messed up that they did that to poor old Arnold. He's an old man. You don't beat up on old people like that. I can't believe they <laughs> drop kicked his butt. It's terrible. I was I was kind of upset about it, but I'm on too many meds to show the anger. But it was there, and I'm, like inside here, I felt the anger. Yes. All right, folks, I guess this is a good time to end this little live stream. Thank you so much. I actually wasn't planning on doing it, and I was going to pull some stuff out that I brought to the new house, and I forgot about this pop. It just fell out of a bag, so I said, you know what? I want to share these real quick. I don't really want to do a video on them because it's just a little stack of cards. Thanks, Christopher. Yeah, boom. I'm ketoning. I'm trying to do the low-carb, healthy chicken and greens only. No, don't go. Okay, what else are we going to look at? What do y'all want to see? I can go, uh, yeah, I'm trying. I gotta lose the weight, man, or I'm gonna die. Favorite quote for Rambo before ending. Live all day long, all day. I dream about live, yeah, all day. I dream about live. Yeah, stay, stay on top of, stay above dirt for a little while longer. <laughs> Man, I wish I don't have much here. Or I would, uh, <laughs> I would show some toys and stuff, but I'm in the middle of moving and everything's in the old house. <clears throat> I'll go do it live at Walmart real quick if you want. I know it's no fun. Rambo, you not expendable. <laughs> uh, no worries, Hyru. I, I hear you about being busy. We're making a move, we're moving right now into a new home and I work two jobs, I'm on the taco diet. Rudy, you're so lucky, you never really, but you work hard. I think that's why you don't lose, you don't gain weight because you work so much. And I'm just like a potato. I just lay around. I go to work and I lay there. Then I go home and I lay there. So I'm starting to get active. Yeah, I stay busy, and then I got two kiddos, got the wife. How much did you weigh in January? It was wow, that's a good amount of weight. I was heavy, heavy at one time. I'm still heavy, but I've lost a lot. Look at them guns, they're all sad. Old man, like, I, I like to look like Thor now. I get to brag, hey, I was told I look like Thor, <laughs> but fat Thor. <laughs> Holy crap. That's amazing, Christopher. You rocked it. That is so awesome. Y'all want a house tour? I can do a house tour. My boy Thor. My boy Thor. My boy Thor. It's just a boat guy. Yeah. On the on part uh, four. Part four was an amazing... I like part four of Rambo. Uh, I was talking to Harry about it, and we both agreed, like, I liked one and two, did not like three when it was about the general getting caught and him having to go save him. I wasn't a big fan of three. You be flexing, hit him while they're flexing, hit him. And then you gotta be like, dab it, dab it. What's up, Cola Break? How you doing, brother? Staying busy? It's better when you have two people dabbing. One guy just looks crazy. And it's got to be one old dude, so everybody's like, mm-mm. <laughs> uh -uh. 
I can't do nothing around here when the family's here because I get picked on. The wife and the kids are like, no, nah, you're too old for that. Or I'll be like, oh, that's on fleek. They're like, yeah, that's that's like three years ago. Yeah, Rambo 3 was terrible. I wasn't a big fan of uh, Rambo 3 either. <clears throat> Rambo 4 was cool. They got like crazy violent. Yeah. Yeah, when you have that weight on you, man, you're carrying it around constantly. It's just, it's a burden. It's rough. And then your health starts dropping. You end up in the hospital. You end up on all kinds of drugs from the hospital and get addicted. I hate getting addicted. Get addicted so much. Here we are. So what do y'all want to do? You want to end it here? I can go like out of, out in town. I don't know what I can. There's really nothing to to look here. I can go live at pretty much Walmart. There's nothing else anywhere. Or we can end it here. And then I'll uh, figure something out later. If you ever see I have like an offset, like what all do I collect? Oh Lord. What's up, Jeremy White? Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, I, I collect everything. Since I retired, I need to, huh? Oh man, the hot weather sucks. It's already, the index is already over 100 here in South Texas. You're taking off, Hyrule? I hear you. Yeah, I collect uh, modern, I collect a lot of vintage. Uh, I've got stuff from the 30s. I got 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and I collect modern. So everything, I collect it all. I collect a lot of uh, collectibles that aren't toys. Metal signs, lunch boxes, 80s lunch boxes, thermoses, a lot of uh, board games, uh, movies, VHS, records, DVDs. Tim is a vintage only. Yeah, I collect everything. I collect uh, ex wives. <laughs> That's why I love to watch Tim's channel, because I love the vintage and that I don't have to worry about seeing Funko Pops. Even though I collect Funko Pops. <laughs> I, I don't consider myself a Funko Pop collector, and I have like over 150, 160 Funko Pops. But they get me because they come out with retro stuff like from the 70s and 80s, and it gets me every time. Yeah, what Christopher collects is uh, retro action figures designed after the, you know, what the ultimate, what it would look like 70s and 80s and stuff figures like redone retro yeah and i love the retro stuff he has christopher actually has an awesome collection i've seen a lot of his uh, collection i think you've done a recently put it out on youtube right christopher a lot of your stuff so they can go and check it out he's got some amazing like uh all these uh third party transformers and just he's got some old stuff like dukes of hazard stuff two-part video yeah go check out that two-part video guys he has an amazing Vintage slash retro channel collection. Plus, he does toy hunts, and he's so damn funny. He gets me to laugh. I start laughing when he's like in Walmart or in stores, talking smack. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, yeah, that's that's my jam too. I just released a thrift store video a little while ago. I love thrift stores. That's where you go at. Oh, you work at Walmart? Oh man, the display signs that come out of there are amazing. That is cool. Do you get discounts working at Walmart? We have friends that work at Walmart and they get pretty good discounts. I collect dust bunnies. But you're gonna set up some nice shelving so you can have your dust bunnies. <clears throat> Here we are, with the fairness of the universe. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to start putting my stuff together. I used to collect everything, but I pushed everything out except for comics, cards, and Funko Pops. There you go. It's easier to limit it like that, like to take it down, because it never ends. When you collect everything, it's hard to get around. And what I do is basically I just buy what I like. When I see, if I see it at the time, 
like I don't there's a lot of people that need their collection to be real like a uh, well designed like you know all 80s here really neat and in order or on card my stuff is chaotic because I buy randomly what I like and my collection shows that it's hard for me to put everything in one section like keep everything sectioned off I uh, I hear you Christopher <laughs> still finding like buys from years ago that that's cool I'm the same way I'm still digging up stuff from childhood and crap Free spot, yeah, you just fill in the spots. You're like, I know that you're 82 this, Masters of the Universe, but there's gonna be a supernatural figure <laughs> visiting your section this year. So don't throw them out. <laughs> Wait till I put mine up, it's gonna be ridiculous. Thank you, Cola, for, for jumping in and hanging out with us a little while. You take care, have a good day. All right, folks, I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream and come up with a plan for today. I need to go back to the old house. We still, we're still we keeping both houses for now, and i got to go feed my critters over there. we got cats, so in the mornings, I like to go over there, feed the animals. Thank you, Hyru. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you had some free time. Most definitely, Tim. I hope everybody got everybody else subbed here. Oh man, 70s and 80s. Uh, Tim has got me really on a uh, action man slash big gym kick. I am hunting. The thing is, is I can't find it in the wild here. Our flea markets, our thrift stores don't have that. That's the European market usually. And so I'm looking, I had to look on eBay to start collecting some. And I really want to get into that big gym line. I like the big gym. So that's going to happen pretty soon. And the, the, million dollar man I, I want to get into those things so once I get set up with my collection I'm probably gonna start diving into that stuff if you find stuff I'll, I'll I can buy it from you and uh, pay for the shipping if I can't find a good deal here they have a lot of stuff on eBay but I think it's not very complete and it's just not around over here there's nothing at our flea markets that are like that we just have our typical stuff. Thanks, Hyrule. You too, brother. Take care. It was a great line. I, d I never got into it. I didn't get into those uh, like I wanted. I guess I was stuck into the typical Motu, G.I. Joe, Thundercats, Silverhawks. Yes, sir. In Germany. I don't remember it to advertised too much. I do. I did know of it, though. I did know of it. But you don't see it around, so I guess I didn't even think of it as something that I could get into here. But now that I'm older, man, wouldn't it be cool to come out with some more Silverhawks? Like, to redo a cartoon? Just revamp it a little, not too crazy, and then do a toy line for it. Or maybe someone could do a retro line of it, like... Like they do for the Transformers and stuff. They could do Silver Hawks would be awesome. Here we are. I'm going to have a damn Highlander song stuck in my head. With the fingers of the universe. I don't know how it goes. It's probably wrong. All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead in for the bring back Silver Hawks. And you know what else? Gargoyles. I want some more gargoyles. I have uh, almost the whole first series of gargoyles loose, but I think I'm gonna try to collect those carded also. Yes. Gotta love them. I didn't really get back in the 90s stuff until I met uh, David Blucher. He kind of got me back into the 90s. We did some trades. He sent me some uh, 90s Xena, the Warrior Princess, Hercules. A lot of the Kenner uh, aliens and uh, uh, predators. So he got me back in the 90s because I was like 80s and below when I started YouTube. So when YouTube started, I said, you know, I better get into, I thought I better get into the modern as well and to be relevant. But 
since then I kind of fell off a lot of it. Green Arrow. Green Arrow has a new series uh, season, and I think it's the final, isn't it? This is the they're supposed to end the Green Arrow series immediately. <laughs> Package those up really in bubble wrap and. Yeah, I, I, I'm currently watching uh, The Flash new season. And he got a, like a daughter he never knew existed. It's a pretty good season. <clears throat> and it's got that one actor from like American Pie. I can't remember his name. Okay, collect what I love. It's gonna be real weird. You see me bring out like burlap sacks with midgets in them. <laughs> Look what I collect, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> Get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do. I, I really want to slide into that 70s uh, Mego stuff because I do have a lot of Mego. I got a playset. I got some characters. <laughs> if you love it like that. <laughs> amen. Amen, sir. Amen. I'll end up in prison the first video. Here's my collection. They'll be locking me up. <laughs> no one knows about Lily here, Rudy. I have a whole story about small people. Uber! Uh, when I first, uh, around 2009, 2010, I was working EMS, ambulance services, and uh, for a Christmas party, someone gave me a midget blow-up doll. It was a real blow-up doll midget, and you fill it with air, and uh, you know, it's a midget blow-up doll. It's a sex toy. Her name was Lily. And I remember, and if you go to my Facebook page, there's still pictures of me and Lily together. There was a lot of alcohol involved last, those years. <laughs> so, Lily is really famous over here for being a friend of mine, a blow-up doll midget. So maybe I need to find where uh, Lily is stored and bring her back for a, are you in jail? I'm in jail. A sheep? 